Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com, and I wanted to show you how I'm going to make some book slings for a uh, present for a friend of mine. Um, what I'm doing right now is I've got my fabric. I've got, this is my outer fabric, and I also have some black inner fabric, and I'm just making sure I iron it really well. Okay, now that you've ironed your fabric, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out the fabric size that you need for your rod. Now, what I did is I measured across my rod on the actual part that it'll hang. Um, and mine was 17 inches across. What I did is I added a half an inch seam allowance on each side, which was probably a little generous. Um, but overall, that adds an extra inch. So instead of 17 inches wide, my fabric needed to be 18 inches wide. For the height of my fabric, I did 22 inches, which is the height that I did on the ones that I made for my sons upstairs and I really like the height on that one I have a smaller one that I did above um, above the, the higher one and um, it works really well for board books but now that they're getting a bit older I find that it's nice to have the deeper pockets um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to cut the correct size so it's 22 inches high by 18 inches across I'm going to cut the black fabric to um, as well and then I'm going to sew them together using again I'm going to be using a half inch seam allowance here so um, I'm going to cut this out pin it and then sew okay here's I'm making two different ones and here they are they're pinned I know it's hard to see them but um, I've got them pinned right sides together so as you can see I got the black coordinating fabric that's going to be on the inside and the B fabric that's going to be on the outside. The same thing with this one. So now I'm just going to sew all the way around leaving a small spot to turn and top or to turn iron and then top stitch and um, I'll show you that. Okay here we go we're going to sew with a half inch seam allowance. Okay, here we are. I sewed all the way around. I left the opening, which we're going to turn and top stitch through. Um, what I'm going to do real quick here is just snip the corners. Um, this makes it a little bit neater when you go to turn it and top stitch. So I'm going to do that to all of the corners and then I'll turn it inside out or right sides out. Here we have it. I turned it right sides out. I'm going to iron it and then I'm going to top stitch real quick and then I will move into on to the next step. So um, I'm just going to want to iron it here. Okay, now that I've top stitched, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the um, casing for the bar and for my other ones that I did upstairs, I actually did um, fold it over by two inches. I can actually do a little less on mine because my rod is very very thin. Um, I tend to prefer to go with rods that are a little thicker but this is what I had to work with. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to iron it and then I'm going to sew it closed so that um, I can feed the rod through. And the one thing I like to do is I do like to fold it out so that you get a peek at the inner fabric. Um, I just like how it coordinates. Um, if you don't like it like that, you can also just fold it in like this instead. But again, I like I like to show a little bit of my inner fabric. Okay, so I folded it over, I ironed it down, I pinned it, and now I'm just going to sew it. Okay, so now I'm sewing this down, and what I ended up doing is using... Um, uh, stitch that's a little different than normal um, and I, I meant to do number 15 but I actually accidentally put it on number 16 so that's what we're doing it actually looks really pretty but I'm hoping this reinforces it a little bit more so that the um, book sling can hold up more weight so this is really the end of our project and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished but okay so 
I um, had spray painted these and now that they're dry they're ready to have these added on so I'm just going to put them on there. Um, this is a weird towel bar so I'm going to have to unscrew it from in there. But um, I, these are pretty thin. I would recommend trying a little bit of a thicker rod um, if you do this uh, just for stability because books get pretty heavy. It should be fine but I don't know, just my personal preference to have something a little thicker. Okay, here it is all finished, and um, it's really hard to hold up with one hand, but it'll look much better on the wall. Um, this is for a friend, so of course I'm not going to mount it to my wall to show you guys, sorry. But um, when you mount it, you are going to want to mount it um, to a stud, just because that'll give you, well, that'll keep you from having it pull out of the wall, especially if your child decides to use it as a stepping stool to get to something, which has happened in our household so we had to remount ours um so anyways this is what you got and i think they are so easy to make and they are so much fun to make i just love love making these so um great project to work on um if you want to see other great projects go over to my blog at www.diydanielle.com you can also subscribe to my channel thanks so much take care